Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to graph logarithm functions on your graphing calculator. So to graph logarithmic functions on your calculator, just go to your y equals editor and type in whatever function you need. So let's say I want 10 times the log of x minus 3. And in this case, uh, x minus 3 is the input to the function, so I do want to make sure I put that in parentheses to make sure that it all gets included in the input. So now I have 2 log x minus 3. I can graph that, uh, and it's been translated three units to the right, and I've got my logarithmic shape over here. Uh, there should be a vertical asymptote down here, but it's a graphing calculator, so at some point it just reaches a point where it stops trying to calculate anything, so it might not show that vertical asymptote terribly well. Uh, but that's why it's important to understand uh, the different properties that these graphs will have with or without a calculator.